Hey, what's up? Welcome to Live.BestTechInternet. This is where we're talking tech and, you know, everything good about technology. We do all that good stuff. Today, I wanted to uh, review on the Samsung Alias, which is a cell phone. For those of you who don't have iPhone, who have iPhones, cell phone is, you know, something that you can call someone with and, you know, text message perhaps and stuff like that. This phone, for those, I have Verizon, first of all. So, I, I don't, I can't get an iPhone with, um, with their service obviously um so i'm stuck with you know a regular phone for now um verizon does have the competing lg phone the voyager which actually my girlfriend has it's pretty neat actually I i've played with it it's a pretty nice phone um but aside from that just if you want a regular old phone something that does you know a good job being a phone check out the samsung alias now we're going to talk about it it's pretty neat it's uh it it's it has six, well let's start with the specs all right it's cdma right it has a uh, 60 megabyte of RAM. It has um, memory. I'm sorry. It has 60 megabyte of memory. It has the VCast. It has the a keyboard. Actually, so it flips open like this. It's really kind of cool. It has the keyboard. It also works like a phone too. It has a speakerphone. It has uh, you can you know. It has it has everything. It has the camera. The the camera is a, a 1.3 megapixel camera, so that's nice as well. It has uh. You know, flash, zoom, autofocus, video, and it does video too. Pretty neat. You can do, set, you know, have wallpapers. You can, as you see, I have my wallpaper set to my guitar, and it also is set here in, in the background over here, which is pretty nice. It's a standard feature, but something I didn't have on the Razer. The battery life on this thing is amazing. Amazing. It, it, far superior to the Motorola Razers. By the way, I think, I think that's a problem with all Motorola phones. From what I understand, the Motorola phones have shizzly battery life. Bad. Just crappy. Bad battery life. So check out, um, if you're looking to buy a new phone, I'd stay away from Motorola. They may look nice, but they are, the battery life is crap. Utter crap. So stay away from that. Also, this thing has, you know, mobile AM and everything. AIM, MSN, Yahoo. It has all that stuff. It also, ha it also has a web browser, which is, is the EVDO uh, connection. So that's pretty nice. Now, if you see, the graphics are actually pretty good. Let me let me pull something up here. As you can see here, the graphics on this thing, this is where you send messages. The keyboard is decent, by the way. Um, let me hold on one second. The keyboard's actually decent, as you can see. It's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about the key, this thing um, is that the but, the phone... Let me see if I can show this off one second. The, the buttons where the numbers are... The numbers are extremely small. I don't know if you can see that, but they're hard to see. Although it makes up for it if you press, uh, like for example, if you press them, it says like two, three. It's big, big letters, so you can see what you're pressing, which is nice. Um, another, just, I like the phone. The quality of the call is good. The group, great reception. The the antennas on the inside, you can't really see it. It also has an expansion slot, by the way. It has an expansion slot for like an SD card or something. Really nice. Uh, I the plug-in, um, but also a speakerphone. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. But it, this is where you plug uh, the the jack in to, to power it. it. It's kind of annoying. Um, it kind of worries me that this thing could fall off. I kind of wish it was maybe on the bottom of the phone, perhaps, or uh, you know, maybe a little better placed without this. But nonetheless, it's a pretty good phone. I like it. Uh, I give it a good review. I think this phone really um, surprised me. Because think about it, I never text messaged ever, ever, before I got this phone. This phone, the keyboard, the feel is nice. It, the first thought, it, you know, the first couple times I was doing it, when I was the first, you know, you know, few messages, the keyboard was um, very hard, stiff. But as I kept doing it, the keyboard is broken in, or at least I'm getting used to it more. And it's really nice. It, it's a QWERTY keyboard. You know, it has you know all the buttons, every, every key. It doesn't have a touchpad or anything, although. Um, if you're checking out, if you want it like a, like an iPhone look-alike um, or act-alike or competitor, the LG Voyager, like I mentioned, which my girlfriend has, is nice. It re it really is nice. It has um, a number of different features. So like when you when you when it has a touchscreen and everything, it has a full-size keyboard, which it's a huge keyboard. It's nice. The only thing I don't like about the the Voyager is it's big. I don't like to carry around a, a huge phone in my pocket. Which is another thing that kind of kept me away from the iPod, um, from the iPhone, um, at the moment. Although, you know, probably will change eventually as soon as they move over Verizon. You know, I'm going to be going over that. 
iPhone, please, you know, stuff like that. But um, I like this phone. It's small, compact, works well, great reception, awesome keyboard. I've been texting more than you'll ever know now um, with this phone. I really like it. Uh, you know, it's easy to it's easy to search through all the contacts and everything. I love the fact that the keyboard is here because, frankly, it makes typing so much easier, um, especially when you're sending messages or IMing. Now that I can IM um, on this phone, excellent, excellent, excellent. I mean, it's a Samsung alias. It's really, really nice. I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has gone on long enough for this little review right here. I really appreciate it. Live.besttechie.net. We do this show. You know, I try to do as many videos as I want. By the way, I'm doing a new show, Daily re daily Music Reviews, rockandreview.com, R-O-C-K-N review.com. Check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been live.besttechie.net.